beautiful day at Pennington Place. Hey, today I'm going to be making laundry soap. I just kind of wanted to share with you how I do mine. Lots of people make their own laundry soap. Everybody has a different way of doing it. Uh, it all depends on what your needs are, uh, what you prefer, what you like, what you don't like. I'm a plain and simple girl. So um, everything I do is pretty plain and simple. And, and I don't like a lot of scents. I don't like a lot of additives. So with my soap, I, pr I don't like the powder soap. So I always do liquid laundry detergent. This right here, I'll shred it up. This is the base of my laundry soap. And this is what it is. I prefer the Zote. I get it at Walmart for like 98 cents a bar. Really cheap. It comes in pink or white. This is the white that I have. I use two bars of pink. I've got them all shredded up and ready to go. In this bowl is a cup or two cups of the Arm & Hammer Laundry Booster Super Washing Soda and two cups of the Borax Mule Team. I'm doing two bars of soap, two cups and two cups because I'm making a double batch. I'm going to concentrate it so that it goes farther. Um, this right here, the two cups, the, the two bars, this will make 10 gallons if you dilute it to normal strength. What I usually do is I concentrate it so that I fill six or eight um, half gallon canning jars. Um, and then I don't have to use as much. I don't even have to use a fourth a cup. I, I could get away with using like three tablespoons, two tablespoons if I concentrate it. And that's what I like about it. You, you use very little and it goes a long way. So what I do is I take my shredded soap and I put it in two to three gallons of hot water. Kind of hard to do one-handed. I'm making a mess. But I get it in the hot water and then I put it on the stove. And a lot of people just let it sit with hot water and use a mixer and, and get it uh, melted that way. But I have found in me making it for myself, what I prefer is I get it in the pan, I put it in two or three gallons of hot water, I put it on the stove, I get it all melted, and once it's melted and it's good and hot, I don't boil it by no means, don't boil it. Um, I just put it on slow and let it nice and slowly melt down and get all dissolved and get all in. Once that's done, then I add my baking soda and I add my borax. And then I add another gallon of water. And then I, I mix that up and I, I let that break down. When, when you put it on the stove and you warm it up, these, these granulated, see how that sometimes, if you don't get that broke down good, your laundry soap isn't nice and smooth. It's kind of gritty and it can separate. It separates, meaning in your jars, you will have... Uh, water on the bottom and everything will rise to the top. I don't like that. I don't like having to mix it constantly when I want to use it to get the right balance that I that I need. So um, that's why I go on the stove and put it on low, get everything dissolved really good, get everything mixed really good. Um, and then from there I put it in a five gallon bucket. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up, get it on the stove, get it cooking for a little while, get um, everything to broke down and dissolved and then I'll add my dry mix get that cooking for a while and when I get to the point where I am ready everything's dissolved and I'm ready to put it in my five gallon bucket I will come back I will show you my bucket I will show you the tool that my husband made that attaches to the drill that helps me stir it because once it goes in this five gallon bucket we're gonna have it there for a couple days and every day we're gonna add a little hot water and we're going to stir it and we're going to stir it a couple times, three, four times every day um, to keep it mixed in, to keep it going well. And then when we're finished, I'll show you my final product. Have a great day. I'll be back to you. Okay, so we've got the soap all dissolved. So now I'm going to go ahead and add baking soda and 
hard to talk and do something at the same time. And the borax. We're going to get that mixed in. And we're going to let that get dissolved. We're going to slow cook it for a little while. See, it's all gritty now. But when it's ready, when it's all ready, it'll be nice and smooth. Now, it will start getting thick. That's what baking soda does. Gets things thicker. But it will cook quite well. Then it'll be thick when we put it in our five gallon bucket. But we'll add water to it and thin it down. So I'll let this cook for a little bit and dissolve. And I'll be back with you. Okay, so this has been sitting on the stove for a little while on low, low heat. Um, I think everything's pretty well dissolved. Everything's broke down. It's looking really good. Look at this. Look how beautiful that is. Next step is we're going to put it in the five gallon bucket, add some more water, and then we're going to get it all stirred in with my wonderful new tool that Michael made me. So I will get that ready. I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I went ahead and put it in my five gallon bucket. I've added another gallon of hot water to it. And this is what I use to stir it. Regular drill, plugged in. But Michael made this attachment for me. Right here, this piece I found for like 99 cents at Salvation Army. I don't know why I bought it. I just, I knew I needed a stirrer for a large bucket and I was always thinking, well, I'll get a paint stirrer. Well, instead of buying something, I saw this and I thought, I wonder if Michael might be able to help me out here. So I brought it home. And sure enough, he got a metal rod, made this end smaller so it fit in my drill, made this end smaller so it fit up inside my attachment, and then he welded it on, and it works great. So that's what I use as my stir. So I got plenty of space. And I'm just going to mix this up nice and thick even with that extra gallon of water in there and it's still pretty warm so I'll do this I'll put it in the kitchen on the floor and two or three times this evening I'll go ahead and get it mixed up really good uh, then um, tomorrow I'll do the same thing but I'll add a gallon of hot water I don't go the whole five gallons I like to go about four gallons I like it more concentrated, like I said before, that way I have to use a lot less. But I'll do this for the next day, and then the next time I speak with you, I will show you the finished product all bottled up and ready to go. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, so here's the finished product. All the ones in the pink is what I did with you guys, and that is just the pink. Zote soap. I like the Zote better than the, I forget what the other one's called, Fentalfa. I don't know what it's called, but I don't like the smell of it. I like the Zote much better, and it's 98 cents. Um, borax, a couple bucks for a box, and you get mini cups in here. I can do three or four, um, I can do three or four uh, double concentrated packs. Same with the laundry booster. I can, there's enough cups in here, I can do three or four um, double concentrated laundry soap. Now this was just plain Zote, baking the washing soda and the borax. The blue I added a, um, I used the white Zote and I added actually a degreaser because my husband's a mechanic and um, sometimes. Uh, his jeans and his work clothes can be a little difficult so I added a degreaser just to see if I liked it or not and I do I really love it um, this doesn't separate see it's nice and thick you can see that nice and thick we're not getting separation I really like that now you can use an eighth of a cup of this because it is a little over double concentrated Usually most laundry soap, I don't know, you use, what, half a cup to a cup? 
um, this is concentrated. So fourth a cup or an eighth a cup is what I use. I'm notorious for overusing because I don't measure anything even when I cook. I just guesstimate. But this should last me, this should last me through many months of muddy, uh, dirty summer weather. So hopefully I've got a head start and I'm stocked up for quite a while. Um, and one batch only runs me maybe four bucks. Um, that's because I do it double. If you do a single batch with one cup of the baking soda, one cup of the borax, and one bar of soap, that's five gallons. If you go all the way and don't do concentrated, you just do plain concentration, um, that's going to run you about three bucks. So you can't beat the quantity or the quality you get for such a low price. Now some people get a little extravagant and they like to add, you can add fabric softener in um, and have it all in one. You can add any type of essential oils you want for different smells. I think the Zote smells wonderful. I like the nice clean smell. It's not overpowering. Um, and I do use fabric softener. I don't like to add it in. I like to add it in my rinse cycle. That's my choice, that's what I prefer. Um, and then I have this wonderful, I don't know if you can see this. <laughs> my daughter absolutely hates it, but I love it. Um, these are half gallon mason jars. And I have this wonderful, it's supposed to be a condiment pump. Well, I've cut it down and made it to fit this. And it actually takes one squirt, two, if you want to do your full load of laundry. And I'm talking a large load. We've got two girls in the house and my daughter and me and my husband. So, um, you know, two squirts will do a huge load, an extra large load and do it well. Um, so I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope this helps you out. Uh, like I said, when it comes to your laundry soap, it's what you prefer. If you prefer liquid opposed to the powders, um, you can go as expensive as you want or you can go as cheap as you want. I prefer less ingredients and easier and that's what I've done any questions leave me a comment I'll be more than happy to answer um, have a great day talk to you later